in a town in California near the beach, where Tyler Hansen, a high school student works. He is often accompanied by his girlfriend, Allison Ali Hewitt, who moved in just six months ago. He fell in love with her the moment he saw her. In the last week of summer, Tyler went to Ali's house to visit his girlfriend. After a brief sweet moment with each other, Ali invited him to attend a yoga session. Although he wasn't fond of it, he had to do it for his girlfriend's sake. After yoga, they met up with their friend Gil to catch up and also order some smoothies. His mother, a single mom, is always busy with work, so he is always with his younger sister Tiffany whenever she has events. While eating, Tiffany asked her brother about his girlfriend, but he kept it a secret, knowing their mother shouldn't find out. One evening, they picked up a Lee to attend a party celebrating the end of summer. When they arrived at the location, they were greeted by another friend, Lydia, as well as Melinda, who invited them to make the most of the remaining days of summer. During the party, he couldn't help but admire his very beautiful and seemingly perfect girlfriend. After a while, a man named Chase greeted Ali, and it seemed that the two knew each other from Ali's hometown. He didn't like what he saw, so he approached them immediately. Because of what Chase said, he discovered that his ideal girlfriend used to be a party girl, often drank, and slept around. After hearing everything, he decided to go to the bathroom. There, he first saw the vacationer Holly Viola, who said she was heartbroken. Their first meeting had a good outcome, so they quickly became friendly. Ali approached him to ask how he was, but his dirty thoughts about his girlfriend prevailed. Because of his behavior, this led to a heated argument between them, and eventually, they broke up. Outside the party, Tyler encountered the mysterious woman, Holly, again. She invited him on a road trip to ease the heaviness he was feeling, and they went to a club to have fun. There, he was offered drugs, and they ended up doing things they didn't expect to happen. After partying and sleeping together, Tyler woke up to find Holly gone from his side. He tried to find her and found her by the fireplace. Holly showed him her collection of photographs, which served as her pastime, astonishing Tyler. After this, they spent the remaining part of the weekend bonding at her large house. Holly told Tyler that her father had passed away, and her stepmother often traveled to different parts of the world. Tyler also shared stories about his family and admitted that he hadn't introduced his girlfriend, Ali, to them yet. As they spent more time together, they couldn't deny that they were developing a special bond, and all they could do was cherish the happy moments that brought two hearts together, both carrying burdens, seemingly forgetting about Ali. In the middle of the night, he decided to go home, as he was worried about his family, especially his sister. Holly admitted that the day they spent together was special, and so did Tyler, thanking the woman who had been his support before he finally left. The next day, Tyler went to Ali's house to reconcile because he realized that his love for her still prevailed. This time, Ali admitted her past in San Francisco, where she used to drink heavily and be with different men, which led them to move here for her to change completely. Tyler accepted this, and they got back together. Because of this, they promised each other that they would no longer hide any secrets. On the first day of school, while hanging out with friends, he suddenly noticed Holly. He was surprised to see them together in the classroom, and they talked about what happened when they were together, but they kept that small thing a secret. After class, Gil arrived with Holly, who was immediately introduced to the group. At this point, Tyler felt something different. While chatting, Ali interjected to invite everyone to hang out on the weekend, which Holly and the others agreed to, but Tyler kept declining, using his little sister as an excuse. Shortly after, Tyler decided to meet Holly. When he arrived at the elevator, she immediately pulled him and tried to cheer him up. But Tyler declined and encouraged her to forget everything that happened and stop this craziness, which disappointed Holly. In the following days, it seemed that Holly and Ali were forming a deep bond, until they hung out at Tyler's workplace. There, Ali saw a picture of the man Holly was with last weekend. Shortly after, they decided to go to the beach for bonding. There, Holly told the story of the mysterious man she was with, and later tried to kiss Gil to get Tyler's attention. Until they went to Ollie's house for the two to have a girl talk. And there, they talked about the man they both loved, and Holly decided to sleep in Ollie's bed. Meanwhile, Tyler confessed everything to Gil about what happened while he was with Holly. Eventually, Holly showed up at Tyler's house, and he noticed that she was wearing Ollie's sweater. Following this, Holly admitted that she had told Ali everything, which angered Tyler, but she was just kidding. At school, Tyler noticed a woman related to Holly. He chased her to talk about her stepdaughter. There, he met Holly's stepmother, Corinne, and learned that Holly had lied about her hometown. Because of this, Tyler's suspicion of the mysterious woman deepened. 
Lydia also became suspicious of Holly when she discovered her lack of presence on social media, but Ali ignored this. While they were discussing Holly's mysteriousness, they were unaware that she was watching them. Shortly after, she offered to buy them smoothies. While chatting, Lydia suddenly had an allergic reaction, which surprised everyone except Holly, who seemed unaffected. The next day, the stepmother and stepdaughter talked, revealing that Holly has a mental illness and is undergoing treatment. Corinne reminded her stepdaughter not to miss her therapy appointments, but it only led to Holly threatening her stepmother. Days passed, and Tyler began to feel terrified that Holly was truly dangerous. While they were discussing this, they immediately noticed that Ali was talking to Holly upstairs, who seemed to be harboring some resentment. Afterwards, he approached Ali to ask what was happening, and Ali mentioned that Holly was pregnant. Tyler was not pleased with what he heard. Thinking that Holly needed support, Ali decided to accompany her to give her someone to lean on. There, Holly said that she envied Ali because Tyler was always there for her, and she even called them the perfect couple, but Ali admitted that she had not yet met Tyler's family, which surprised Holly. At home, he heard his sister Tiffany talking as if she was talking to someone else. When he tried to check it out, he was displeased to find Holly in their house, even bonding with Tiffany. He dragged her out of the house, demanding to take responsibility for her pregnancy, but Tyler refused. In their intense argument, Tyler accidentally pushed Holly, causing her to get hurt, before he left in anger, so did Holly. That night, Holly went to Ollie's house to complain that she went to the house of the man who impregnated her, but it only led to an argument and a scuffle, with Ali unaware that Holly was referring to her boyfriend. Meanwhile, Tyler visited the hospital where Lydia was recuperating. They discussed Holly's strange behavior. Lydia mentioned that she was only attacked by her allergy when Holly gave her smoothies, which had never happened before. Tyler also admitted what happened during the days he was with the mysterious woman. Finally, Lydia understood the reasons behind all this. He tried to contact Ali to confess everything, but he was unsuccessful. The next day, Tyler and Ali met at the beach, where he confessed everything to his girlfriend. However, Ali already knew about it because of the photos Holly showed of them having a good time at the big house, and even Holly's bonding with Tiffany. Because of this, their promise to each other not to keep secrets was thrown back at him. Ali also expressed that she no longer wanted to talk to her boyfriend, before she finally left. This time, Holly mustered the courage to woo Tyler, but he remained firm, which disappointed her. The following day, Holly approached him to warn him about not answering her texts. Shortly after, he was called by the guidance counselor to be informed of his immediate suspension because he was accused of attacking Holly, whose real name was revealed to be Elizabeth Holly Viola. While suspended, he researched on the internet to find out about the person behind the name Elizabeth Viola. At that point, he learned that Holly had cases in San Diego, one of which involved violently attacking a female student for trying to steal her boyfriend, leading her to be in contact with a mental institution for medication. Eventually, he received a message threatening what would happen next. That night, alone at home, while Ali was talking to Holly, she felt her presence close to her. He tried to look around, but he saw nothing. When she heard a noise, she quickly went to check where it came from, but someone grabbed her. To convince Tyler to go to her house, she sent him a picture of Ali unconscious. Meanwhile, she woke up in Holly's house, tied to a chair. There, she revealed her intentions for doing these things. And she also admitted to pretending to be pregnant to win Tyler's heart, a deception Ali believed, thinking Holly was a true friend. Holly ordered her to break up with Tyler because she believed he loved her, which Ali didn't agree with, so Holly slapped her. When Holly noticed a car approaching, she looked out the window to check it out. After she taped Ollie's mouth, she left her alone. After a while, Corinne arrived at the house, found where Ali was being held, discovered that she was tied to a chair, and tried to save her. However, as she was untying Ali, she was immediately choked using a plastic bag. When Tyler arrived at the large house, he found Holly again by the fireplace. While he was asking where Ali was being kept, Holly tried to convince him to revisit their happy moments together like the previous weekend and do the things they used to do but he ignored her and decided to find his girlfriend, but to his surprise, he couldn't find a trace of her. In the heat of their argument, he discovered that Ali was tied to the ceiling without consciousness and blood on her forehead. He quickly lowered her, and fortunately, she woke up. After Holly left, they tried to leave the house, but they couldn't open the locked door. While searching for an exit, they found Corinne's lifeless body. Tyler, familiar with the layout of the house, tried to lead them to the bathroom for an escape. Before they could get far, Holly stopped them at gunpoint. 
they pleaded and asked for forgiveness, but she remained unfazed. Just as she was about to shoot Ali, Gil arrived, and Tyler was shot in the shoulder. When Holly attempted to shoot Gil, Ali grabbed the fire poker and attacked Holly until she fell into the swimming pool. Luckily, Tyler survived. Holly was seen still alive and was taken away in an ambulance, where she requested the paramedic to stay by her side, a request that was granted. In the final scene, Allison and Tyler were at his younger sister Tiffany's birthday party. Tyler recounted that in his pursuit of fantasy, his relationship with Holly, he had forgotten that reality was right in front of him. He learned a valuable lesson about love meant for Allison. For more videos similar to this, don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications. Thank you for watching.